Every year, the Intel Foundation invites U.S. high school students to compete for $100,000 in its science talent search. This year's winner is breaking ground in the field of algae biofuels. It's a field, she says, she's loved forever, or at least since junior high school. CCTV's Emily Drew spoke with the young scientist. From Colorado Springs, Colorado, and Cheyenne Mountain High School, Sarah Bowles. <laughs> She's just won the 2013 Intel Science Talent Search, making her one of the world's most promising young scientists. At 17, her research that, uh, tackles algae biofuels. It's actually a diesel substitute that you can put right in a car engine, which is awesome. Algae populations don't naturally produce enough oil to make the biofuel economically feasible. It stumped companies and professional labs, but Sarah found an elegant solution. I was using artificial selection, or guided evolution, uh, with the idea that I could isolate these populations of algae cells with very high oil content. Since she was 13, she's been studying algae, and it's her passion. So I actually have a home laboratory. Um, sort of under my uh, loft bed, I've got all of these algae growing. She even sleeps on her algae's light schedule. The real goal of the competition is not just to judge them on their research, but to judge them as future leaders of science. Sarah and the other finalists displayed their projects in Washington, attracting science buffs, teachers, Nobel winners, and even the U.S. Secretary of Education. Intel had a message for all of them. Our students are capable of far more, frankly, than we give them the chance to do uh, in schools the way we uh, have structured them and funded them today. Science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM education, is a priority for the Obama administration, but it's a set of fields that's been falling behind in the U.S. Talking to these students, you'd never know it. The receptor and the agonist are overexpressed in the disease cells. That's been shown. The dark matter distribution in galaxies. And, and thereby activate the protein. I was interested in the, the idea of self-organizing. So much of our engineering today goes towards a very small segment of the population. So photosynthetic viability, which can be measured photometrically. Um, like yeah, most Intel finalists, Sarah plans to continue researching after high school. She's off to MIT this fall, but in the meantime, she'll be back home in Colorado Springs, tending to her algae trying to solve some of the world's most pressing energy challenges. Emily Drew, CCTV, Washington.